you too what's good man it is your boy d guy juice and we're back with another video if y'all read the title description down below y'all know this is about a yeezy collection video and i know y'all like man look at all these joints behind bro bro you got yeezy yes bro i love sneakers i'm a sneakerhead i not only love joints i love adidas reebok i love shoes period bro but let's get into the video man what we came to talk about man is yeezys I have a great Yeezy collection. I want to introduce that to y'all. So if y'all want to come to me with anything Yeezy related questions, you know, drops, releases. On the Yeezy way too, bro. I'm always, you know, trying to figure out what's going to release. I know a lot of people go to J.A., Roscoe, Jumperman, Chris. Like they have, you know, great collections and a lot of people go to them for info. But you know, I want to step into that lane. You know, I may not be as big as YouTube with them, but I want to show y'all my collection, man. And I think I got a top, I think I got a top collection on YouTube, y'all. So we finna get into the collection. I am on the race to 1K. Um, if you wanna check out some of my old content or you like what I'm doing over here, man, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Like and share the video so get this out to other sneakerheads. Without further ado, man, let's let's roll this, man. Let's get this collection video started, man. You dig? Let's get it. All right, you guys. So first, we're gonna start off with the Yeezy slide. And I actually have three Yeezy slides for y'all, but I just want to show y'all the box when you get it. You see it says slide on the front. You know, pretty much that, you know, standard Yeezy box, man, that you get. But let's open these and look at my first pair of slides. Sit them on the bed right here. Y'all already know, man, y'all already know. Oh, it didn't fart. Hang on, hang on. Oh, it didn't fart again, but anyway. We gonna get a box, we gonna get a box to fart but for this video, but this is my pair of Yeezy slides. You know, I wear this pair of Yeezy slides, man, everywhere. They are dirty on the bottom. This is actually the only pair of Yeezy slides I have, actually one out of three I have. And this is the earth brown colorway right here. Check it out, check it out. Um, I also have two other boxes right here and we gonna open those real quick, you guys. This right here is the bone colorway. See right there. I have not worn these. Oh, uh, you know, slides, bro. The resale slides has been crazy. Y'all know with quarantine, everybody wants a dope pair of slides, but resale on these is over three hundred dollars. And trust me, if I had not caught these on release day, I would not be buying them. But this is the resin colorway, and I only have three slides in my collection. Like I said, the resale was not high. I will have the other two um, colorway. I think they call core and soot. But I will not pay $300 for a slide, you guys. So hopefully I can get those in the collection. But those are all the slides. And what's next, bro? We're going to get to these 500. So let's dive into those. All right, you guys. So let's get into these 500s right here. And as y'all see, man, we got a lot of 500s right here, man. Woo, boy, let me sit the boxes down, bro. Because the boxes got heavy. But man, y'all already know, man, the 500 box right here. That's the side and that's the front right there. As y'all know, man, 500s don't have boots in it. Also, the slides don't have boots. That's why you don't see it on the side. But the first color we're going to look at right here, Utility Blacks. Right here, bang. Yeah, so I hit on these on actually yeezysupply.com. And yeah, man, this is probably not one of my favorite colorways because, you know, the black on Yeezy is not actually black. It's kind of like an ashy, you know, kind of like an ashy kind of gray looking colorway. But... You know, that's one pair of my 500s. Oh, see, we almost got a box of fart. I know y'all heard that. Um, the next pair of 500s we got right here, and this is a little bit more color, a little bit more spice. We got the Soft Vision 500s right here. Yes, sir, yes, sir, check it out. I don't know if the camera's picking up the color, but we got the Soft Vision, kind of got like that purple colorway right here with that gum bottoms. Fire shoe in my humble opinion, you guys. The next 500 we have right here is the blush colorway. Also, man, these are size 11. I was shocked that I didn't have to go up a half size in my 500s. They do fit good. And another thing I want to add on the 500s is these, they do have that Ortholite insole in them, so they are still comfortable. But this is probably one of the very few StockX shoes that I bought. Y'all already know, man, if you watch any of my videos, I don't like StockX, but this was when StockX was actually doing like legit shit and they didn't have you know you know security breaches and stuff like that but this right here is the blush colorway and this was i think this was like one of the first colorways to come out and you know it's crazy because the 500s but they're not releasing a lot of pairs of these and resale is you know high on 500s i seen an article that 
they're gonna be a lot more 500 releasing next year but this is one of the probably the first colorways of the 500 right here you see you got the tags and everything over there everything legit but i did pick these up from stock x and it's probably one of my favorite colorways out of the 500 all right you guys we got one more 500 right here and we got the super moon yellows i don't know if the camera's picking it up right there but yes these are the super moon yellows and y'all look at those bottoms right there i have worn these but this is probably like the most worn 500 that i have wore i don't really wear my 500 like that because like i said they don't release like that and resale you know was climbing on them so i was like i was contemplating if i was gonna sell them or not but i'm gonna keep all my 500s in the collection because they don't really have a lot of these released um but yeah man that's my 500s right there and let's knock out these 700s because i have a lot of 350s you guys so we're gonna um look at these 700s i got and yeah all right you guys so the first 700 we have right here as y'all see on the 700 box we do got boost on the side and 700 on the front but these are the vanta colorways and this is my you know least worn 700 like i said you know the 700 is probably regarded as one of the best silhouettes well one colorway that we will touch up on at the end you know of uh, my 700s that i have but this is the vanta colorway as i told y'all man the blacks on yeezy bro look kind of like an ashy gray but you know um this would this uh is the black colorway they also do have a static colorway but i do not have that one and, you know i will find a way to get in the collection one day but not paying resale prices on those uh that was the vanna colorway the 700s right here you see it does not have boots on the side so you already know this is the 700 v3 model because the v3 model did not have boost in it but this colorway right here is the avla right here the black colorway of the 700s y'all see it got those kind of like gold looking paws on the bottom and you know this is actually a comfortable shoe even though it ha doesn't have boost in it i actually hit on these on the ideas out before it went to confirm so you know that was a great debut for me size 11 and a half y'all know man i'm all yeezys except my 500 let's go up a half a size the next colorway we have right here are the Azrael's. And y'all already know what these are. Well, matter of fact, no, these are the Azrael's. I'm tripping. These are the Azrael's, bro. Right here. Check it out. Check it out. I did a review on these um, recently. I think this was, matter of fact, this was my last video, so check it out. But you see, they got the bungee cord laces right there. And man, this colorway right here, man, hits. This is probably going to be easy of 2020 right here. You see, you got the white bottom, so you got to be careful. On the bottom you got that translucent if the camera will pick it up translucent icy kind of like pitch yellow bottom with more of that gold you know peeking through right there but i'm gonna say this is a fire colorway but it's not one of the top 700s in my collection as we pull up the next yeezy 700 we have the marve or more colorway i can't pronounce that name i think it's mauve but this was one of the first 700s right here and this colorway will go hard y'all already know man it's about to be fall i think it, i think when this video drop it will be like the first or second day of fall but this color right here is fire definitely has those browns you know gum bottom on the bottom and then you gotta kind of got like some color right here with that kind of lime green hits but man this shoe was fire back in the day and you know it was a must cop for me but y'all already know what 700 is next. Bang, bang, the 700 Wave Runner. I don't even have to look at the name on the box because I already know that this was the last 700 I want to talk about. And this 700 right here, man, means a lot to me. And it didn't fart, but they are legit. But y'all see right here, man, these are the 700. This is a V1 model of the uh, Wave Runners. That's what they call they do have boost on the bottom of the shoe and that bottom of the shoe bro is so fire but these 700s man with the you know the lime green highlighted laces man were fire this shoe was actually you know pre-sale and um it didn't do good but after people got these in hand and you know they uh got them on feet you know people wanted this shoe resale shot up on the shoe and this shoe has actually reached out a couple times but if y'all look at your goat and stock ace apps man this shoe right here is going for a lot of money so i mean this is a must have and i must say to a lot of people this is yeezy the best yeezy of all time so man 
Definitely get you some of these. But y'all already know, man, we finna go to the Jordan next. The Jordan of all Yeezys, the 350 model. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of those guys, man. So we finna knock those out. Yeah, man. Y'all let me know down below what y'all think of my Yeezy collection so far. I think it's fire, man. So let's get into those. Like I tell you, I don't have any V1s. Uh, 350, all these are gonna be V2s. So yeah, let's dive into it. Okay, as y'all see right here, man. This is not even all of them, but we're gonna sit these down right here. All right, you guys. So the first colorway we finna get to the 350s is the butter colorway. And I don't know if a lot of people like this colorway of the 350. You know, it's pretty basic, you guys. I actually got these from Foot Locker when they, you know, were actually putting Yeezys in stores. You know, they kind of stopped doing that because a lot of Yeezys were sitting and Yeezy brand did not want that look. So, you know, they had them sending them back to them. And, you know, that's when Yeezy did all their restocks and stuff like that. But this is the butter colorway. You know, not really nothing special to me, but you know, it's a Yeezy, man, and it's like a 350, so. All right, next right here, man, we have the 350s, and I forgot to show y'all, but y'all see on the box, we got the booze. Right here, you got my name, and you got like some kind of locator that foot like you just put in that box. Those were the good days when Yeezys, like I said, were in stores, and I was actually hitting on the Foot Lock app before it went to Flex, but these are, well, let me say, I knew, it was, I knew I was right though. These are sesame colorways, and this is also a fall colorway. If they kind of pick up this color, you can see it's kind of like a gray, kind of like a toned down gray, kind of like, it's a clean colorway though, bro. Like, you can really wear this and kids with some sweaters and stuff. As you look on the bottom, I have one of these that has kind of like a dark spot right there, but, you know, very underrated colorway, and, you know, the five colorways are coming up next, so y'all just keep staying tuned. As we pull up the next 350, this is, I don't know, bro. Oh, this is the all white colorway. I guess I forgot the name of them, bro. I ain't even gonna hold y'all, but this is the all white colorway. I think these are called the cream, if I'm not mistaken. But y'all can see, man, these whites and these butters and these sesames or you know kind of bright in the camera so sorry for the color man if it's not picking up but you see you got that pull tab right there and, you know i have never worn these because i was so scared that you know i would mess these shoes up because it was all white and you know you have to really wear this on a clean day not when it's raining anything like that but these are the cream yeezys and i remember these restocked a lot you know what i'm saying so resale may have went up on those but i remember at the time there was not a lot of resale as we pull up the next 350 right here, we have the static colorway right here, and bam. I think I also got these from off uh, Foot Locker on the app, but you see the static colorway, you see that pattern right there. This is uh, when they first introduced the translucent, you know, uh, stripe right there, but fire colorway, I love the pattern on these, man. And right here, right here, we have next, the black static colorway this is the alternate of the static colorway but you can see right here man any black easy y'all know is fire y'all know man we getting them breads later on this year and they will be a must to the collection but i remember man getting these and i had to put them on feet i see many all kind of dirty on the bottom but you know i didn't have the black statics i'm really glad to have these in the collection like i said we'll be getting those breads but y'all see that pull tab right there man fire man with the red right there these were a must and i'm glad to say that i have a black yeezy in my collection hey pete the pete the little fart there y'all y'all heard that y'all pete the fart that's right here man we have the clays man and if y'all know the thing about these these were a regional release y'all check it out right there i have actually not worn these either you know this is kind of like a, a orangey tangerine look as you look at that pull tab it has an orange pull tab on the back but you know this shoe right here definitely screen fall vibe so you know this year i'm gonna try to wear my yeezy a lot more y'all know well this quarantine this corona going on you know i'm not really wearing the shoes like i told y'all man i'm killing my yeezy slides man i wear them everywhere a comfortable shoe but yeah these are the clay yeezys right here we have about seven more pairs of 350s to go but these are when the yeezys get fire all right you guys more boxes more boxes and matter of fact let me let me move this shoe man because i'm gonna have to stack these up when i 
go over them but we got another 350 right here this is the you chill colorway and i got these from foot locker also when was that last christmas or two christmas ago but this is a very fire color wave you guys and you know a lot of people didn't like this shoe until after they came out but you can definitely wear these during the fall time and like i said with them black yeezy i know how it go but you know yeezy man just you know they don't really you know produce yeezy with color man so this colorway right here was just so fire to me you don't get that pull tab on the back you know some people don't like it i like it good on these but man this shoe right here is fire definitely don't get good wears out of this this uh fall and winter definitely probably gonna wear this with a dope christmas sweater but i love these your chills man and you know it's probably in my top five bro of all time i don't know i might be reaching right there you know maybe when i get them black or uh, bread yeezys it'll probably push it back but that your chill colorway is very very underrated as we look at this next 350 right here these are just like it is man these are the glow colorway and i might i'm gonna have to wait for the camera to adjust on these you guys because these things glow like glow for real bro and look at that it, they look like they're actually glowing in my hand on camera but if y'all know anything about these this yeezy was very hard to get it only really it only released one time it did not never restock but it has a pull tab on the back y'all can see man it kind of give you them grinch kind of vibes definitely remind you of the kobe grinches but man this shoe right here is fire man the, like i said the the uh, midsole glows man the outer sole glows and this shoe just glows period y'all see man on the camera this shoe is glowing but this is a fire shoe and y'all can see right there has that translucent stripe on it definitely a fire shoe the next yeezy we have man are the beluga 2.0s and i know for all y'all yeezy fans out there y'all think the 1.0 is fire but the 2.0 to me is so much fire you know like i said it don't have that yellow that um bright stripe on it but it's just clean bro you know all gray yeezy it has like those you know zebra stripes on it man this is probably one of my most worn yeezys but you can also tell bro like with that gray colorway man these will not get as dirty and like i said that pull tab vibes is definitely a must for me as we pull up the next yeezy right here man this is what y'all think man we got to make chicken yeezys right here yes sir yes sir man these are a crazy yeezy right here man these are the yeebers this is actually you know one of the most rare yeezys you know i remember yeezy mafia put up a chart you know before these restock man this was probably the you know the least produced um yeezy i know these did release in foot Locker and people were going crazy on these i remember i wore these on christmas day with uh my all red sweater and i caught myself the grinch but yes sir the yeebers man right here is a crazy shoe and you know you can't go wrong with a crazy color yeezy because like i told y'all we do not get color yeezys but just that zebra pattern right there is just fire and dope we have three more yeezys to go you guys so y'all know man it's been a turn right you guys we down to the last three yeezys i think i just showed it on camera but you know with that pattern y'all probably think these are the zebras but these are the blue tint yeezys man very underrated colorway but then again you know with you know the way yeezys are like dried up and you know you don't like you don't see a lot of them on camera man i don't know if it's picking up that blue tint but man these shoes are fire you got the blue tint on the laces the blue tint all around the sock liner you know even even on the uh midsole right there man you got like a little blue tint to it but it also has that zebra colorway and man these shoes were pretty hard for me to get i found these at a local mom and pop shop and i had to pull the trigger on these because i just felt like you know that blue just hits on these kind of give you those like icicle igu vibes but we got the blue tints right there as we get into the next easy 350 and i think all the ones that i have left these are the last two have that zebra print on them but matter of fact they don't but this is the number two Yeezy. It did release this year. Probably Yeezy. Not, well, it's probably Yeezy 350 of the year. Y'all already know, man. I think that the uh, Azrael's, the Azrael's, however you want to say it, are the Yeezy of the year. That blue colorway. I think they call it Azrael's. 
but right here we have the Yeezy 350 Zion. You know, people say that these are the turtle doves. I know I don't have any V1s, but these remind them of the turtle doves. And this shoe is crazy because it just has browns, greens, uh, kind of like, I can't even describe, bro. It kind of has like purple colorways, all type, of, all type of stuff in here, bro. But these are the Yeezy 350 Zion. I hit on these on the Adidas Confirm app. I also did have an early pair and you know i actually sold those to um a local subscriber man so you know shout out to him i know he said he's enjoying the shoes but no pull tab on the back definitely a clean colorway and definitely man this shoe will be number two in my collection because i don't have turtle does but this is a very clean color and last but not least you guys we have the number one yeezy in my collection and y'all should already know what it is yes sir yes sir man it's a 350 boost on the side y'all check it out check it out but y'all should already know what the number one easy is i got these on a restock from foot locker y'all can tell from the front of the box but we have the yeezy for a lot of people number one you know besides the wave runners as a matter of fact, we're gonna put the weight. Oh, y'all heard that. I told y'all I was gonna get a good fart before the end of the video. Matter of fact, let's hit that one more time, you guys. We gotta hit that one more time. Let's go. Oh, we didn't get a fart. Oh. Hang on, you guys. Okay, it's not doing it no more. But y'all heard the fart. But the Yeezy, bro, of my collection, definitely number one is the Yeezy zebras man like this shoe right here was reselling for almost thousand two thousand dollars when it first released this is actually the second version of the shoe i know the first version had a darker you know outer sole on it but man I, these are must for the collection i think i have one of these yeah i have one of these because i can see it dirty right there but this shoe right here man is fire definitely a must and you know if you are collecting yeezys or you looking for your first yeezy definitely go for these like I told y'all, the way you run it, these are probably two of the best of all time, you know, ever released. But I'm glad to have both of these in my collection. But number one is the Yeezy um, Zebra, which I see it does like a zebra with the white like stripes. You had Supply 350 down in red with the pull tag right here. And this is really what started all the hype right here. I'm going to drop the shoe, you guys. This is the shoe that's really started all the hype, followed by these. And yeah, man, that is my Yeezy collection video, man. So, you know, I'm not going to really stop the video to do an outro. I just want to say I appreciate y'all for tuning in. You know, hopefully y'all y'all can see, man, that I, you know, have a lot going on my channel. I touch Yeezys. I touch Jordans. I touch a lot of stuff, man. So if you like what your boy doing, man, you know, subscribe to the channel. Like and share the video so we can get other sneakerheads. Also, man, um... Comment down below what you think of my Yeezy collection. Do you think I'm top? Do you think I'm one of the top YouTubers with a Yeezy collection? You know, I have a lot of stuff I can go back and get to get to the top. Y'all know Yeezys are more attainable these days, but I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Y'all know the model, man. Gain and maintain. Never let nobody tell you what you can't do. Invest in yourself. Invest in your dreams. We on the race to 1K, so subscribe to your boy and support the channel, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in once again. And with all that being said, D got juice, we got peace. Everybody stay blessed. And don't forget to vote, man. Don't forget to vote.